Okay. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the FNG show. That's right. Okay. On our last video, we gave you a home remedy for hemorrhoids you and ingrown it. hairs. He did. <laughs> I'm calling a doctor. <laughs> And ingrown hairs, what he thought was a hemorrhoid in the same area. I don't know how you get ingrown hairs, but down there, but you know. But um, I was going to talk about another home remedy. Now, this one works wonders. Works wonders. So, I had a cold one day back in my 20s, I think it was, late 20s. Got a real bad cold. And I can't tell you where I got this home remedy from. But um, I don't know if I got it from TV, something I read. I do read I read a lot. And, uh, yeah, y'all probably think I got it from a quack doctor again. But this remedy works. He, when he asked his wife before we started the video, he asked, Hey, honey, you remember where I got this from? She's like, <laughs> you made that up. I didn't make it up. I read it somewhere. So when you get a cold, you know, most people go to the sauna, try to sweat it all out in the sauna, and I do that too. But back then, I read an article, I don't know where I got it from, or somebody told me, or I read it somewhere on the internet, or wherever. Um, when you get a cold, you need to get you a good onion, nice big onion, a red, well, a white onion, preferably. So the red onion is not good? Well, I always use the white onion. I guess it was because that's what I read. No green oh, onion? No, 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 no. <laughs> No green onions, no purple onions, just a white onion. White onion is the more has the strongest. Um, Very pungent. Yeah, it's it's the more pungent. So when you get a cold, you do, what you need to do. Now you can do it on both feet, or you can do it on one foot. It just it all depends how bad your cold is. It just to chew what you whether chew if you want to get it out your body faster and quicker. Cut up an onion. Put it in a, a uh, some kind of a rag and cut it up. Put some mustard. Now, yellow mustard. Sounds not like making it something to eat. Not brown <laughs> mustard. Just some yellow mustard. Not a Trenches. whole lot. Huh? Trenches. You can use any yellow mustard, any brand you want. But cut up the onion. Put it in a, put it in a rag. Beat it on the <laughs> table so the juice can go through the rag. Tie it all around. Make sure you put the onion basically on your foot. Then put it in a rag and make sure the onion is touching your bottom of your foot. Wrap it up, put a sock on, and now when what tomorrow, about the, what about the rag that she's beating the juice in? Oh, you put that on your foot too, oh. as long as it's inside of something. But the onion has to touch your foot. Okay. You can't put a rag and then tie the rag right foot. The onion has to touch your foot, or you can do it both ways. You can, the onion can touch your foot, or you can put the rag on it. But you got to make sure it's wet enough. Beat up. The onion juice is beat up where it can all soak through. <laughs> Some people, I preferably did it where it was a thin piece of cloth where it was soaked through so it can get, so it can go through. Now what it's supposed to do overnight, at, now put a sock on because you don't want your whole bed smell like onions. Put a sock on or you may want to put two socks on over top of it. Or do it one foot or both feet. Two pairs of socks on each foot. And in the morning, the onion turns black. Now, ladies and gentlemen, it worked. I did it on me. I did my children when they had colds. I put onions on their foot with the little mustard, tied them up. Their colds were gone the next morning. If you don't believe me, try it. And you get back to me in the video and tell, and tell me I'm a quack. Cause, but it worked for me. Now, I don't know what your DNA is like, but <laughs> it worked for me. I went, I mean, my sniffles were gone. And apparently the onion sucks out the bacteria through your foot. Mm. Now, here's why I know I think I'm right. Because you can go on Amazon and buy these foot patches and you wear them at night and it supposedly sucks all the bad bacteria out of your body and it turns black. So are they onion patches? No, they're not. They don't have <laughs> onions in them. I don't know what they have in them. Uh, now, I've did, I have heard of, it, you could be right, I, I don't know, but I have heard of putting Vaseline on your feet when your feet are real shaped. I mean, real chapped up and everything, and um, cut up, and you um, got them calluses and bunions real hard. Mm -hmm. You put a lot of Vaseline on your feet, and then you wear a soccer bed. You do that for a few days, and that's supposed to soften your feet up. I have heard that. 
But uh, no. other than get the <clears throat> bunions cut <throat> off your foot by the doctor. Yeah, but I'm, I'm speaking more of your feet being rough, like calluses and stuff like that. Oh, okay, calluses. Okay, well, yeah. You can still get calluses cut off your foot, though. Yeah, but I'm just talking about, you're talking about home remedies. So well, yeah. About, well, yeah, home remedies, yeah. But I don't know. cold medicine, too, but he put none of these on the bottom of his feet. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> now, I'll, well, you know, I think it worked for me. Um, now, if you get a cold this winter, why don't you try it? Come back to me and let me know, and I'll give you my bill for how much it costs. Because I gave you the remedy, you and you will save yourself a doctor's visit, a twenty-five dollar copay, and some other bills, and going and the prescription, and the antibiotic, all because of the onion. Yeah, all because of the onion, onion gentlemen. Onions on your feet. Onions with a little mustard, not a whole Hell lot. Mustard, a little Hell mustard. Mustard. Get a mustard. It's coming to you live from Frank. From the F and G show. Well, you see, you know, you got to get what you got to get. You know those home remedies work. Them old people back 20 years ago used to give people, what is that? Um, That stuff on the spoon that make the colds. You talking about that uh, <sighs> castor oil? Castor oil, yeah. You get a castor cold, they be shoving castor oil down your throat. Now, I never had castor oil, but I heard it is nasty. Nasty. Did you ever have it? Uh-uh. Look like baby oil to me. Castor oil. So, it, it works. The onion works. I can't tell you nothing. I can't say nothing bad about it. It worked. Well, you said it worked. So, you all, if you get a cold, try it out. Let us know about it. Uh, that pretty much be it with this um, episode of the FG Show. Now, before we go, if you want to maybe get a super fast reaction, I have never tried it. You may put the onion on your feet, walk into the sauna in the gym, Sit down. Now, you out. may get kicked out because you be stinking pretty bad <laughs> with that onion. Say, who is it? Somebody smells like onions up in here. You ain't going to make it to the gym. You're going to get kicked out the sauna. So, But you may try that. If you have a home sauna, you might want to try that. Then you're going to have to di get the odor out of your sauna, I guess, after it. Because, you know, wood absorbs odor. So you have to get the wood, onion smell out the wood yeah. after you do that. Well... <laughs> I they don't believe me. It. I did do this, ladies and gentlemen. Don't, I did do this. I did put an onion on my foot. I know y'all don't believe me. <laughs> so any final, final words? No, no final words. Well, that is it for Frank. It's been it for me. Uh-huh. And this has been the F&G Show. The F&G Show. And we are out. We are out. <laughs>